how you're going to do things differently next time. Thank you so much, Jonathan. First of all, I would like to say uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, these two are not the only two that get here. You know, I'm pretty nervous as well because this is my first time at the FCCT. And thank you so much for your warm welcome. I would say that many thanks to the FTCT for inviting me to participate in this forum to share my views with colleagues and all of you. I was informed yesterday at 6 p.m. that I will have to make a speech about 10 minutes. Believe it or not, I didn't get enough sleep last night. <laughs> I was trying to prepare, prepare my thoughts and my views to share with all of you. So, at the first, the beginning, the beginning here, I will state what I have prepared. And then when it's time for the q and I'm more than welcome to answer any questions from all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Thailand is in a very hard time through this political struggle and you know, to go through this modern economy. So I would like to address several issues that Thailand needs to change before we are outdated. I would say that in present, every country around the globe is experiencing what we call the new reality. The reality of dramatic change in speed and character of technology for industrial production. The change from a country-based product to a network of global design, global sourcing, global production, and global market. The world market has been changed to the development of information, technology, infrastructure, and has been changed in the trade pattern due to the people's access to internet. Disruptive innovation is everywhere now. For example, technology in the form of business model, software, so-called chair economy, like Uber. We have to prepare Thailand for a new normal economy. Solving labor mismatches is a priority. Our party will support our people with the means to survive in this new economic phenomenon through rebalancing the economy from export investment led to a more self-dependent consumption service-led economy and through providing more economic opportunity for our people. We must embrace technology in the world and improve technology to benefit all, especially for the poor. If we don't embrace technology, we could be left behind. We have been enjoying the GDP from tourism, from exports, why the export situation in Thailand now is like a sun before setting, which is going down. <coughs> if we don't create a new S-curve for our country, how long can we still enjoy the current one? This new S-curve must be technology related. The new generation therefore must step in and play a major role in this new economy. Because those who have a decision-making power always have analog thinking. But those who have digital thinking always have no decision-making power. Therefore, the generation, the new generation, must bridge the gap between the senior and the new generation by learning from their experiences and integrating with the new knowledge, innovation, and technology. To bridge the gap, Thailand needs to improve on three, at least three, fundamentals, which are education, local economy, and politics. First is to reform of education. Since the education is the foundation of generating the country's economic growth. As you can see, our current situation, the education system is still what we call road learning. In other words, it's learning from memorizing. Today, even Thai people do not believe in Thai education system. You can see from you know parents, they choose if they can afford, they will choose to send their children to international school. What does that mean? It means that they don't believe in the system. In the current global trend, we match education with children's ability. 
the teacher must be ready to learn together with the children, the students. No more what we call mouth feeding. We must decentralize Thailand's education management to the provincial level and let the management role be to advise or to um, research on education technology like education cloud or applications. We must reform our education by adjusting the curriculum to match the global trend and integrating technology to improve the curriculum. For example, if a 15 years old boy would like to be an, a, a, robo a robotic engineer when he grows up, the question is which school in Thailand would be suitable for him? Therefore, bridging the gap of education is the path we must take. In summary on education, Thailand needs to do five things. First, decentralize education. Second, increase bilingual schools. Third, use IT technology to change the learning and teaching methods. Fourth, aware of convergence of sciences. The subject-based learning is not working anymore. And fifth, find a better quality of teachers than set proper incentive and career path. Second, as the economy changes, the old prescription does not work anymore. However, the existing local economy still have a good foundation. We must upgrade our auto, our local product, from analog to digital. The new OTOP will be Thai skills, Thai accent, with international design through IT for global taste and global market like Alibaba or Amazon style. <laughs> Otherwise, OTOP products will meet a dead end. We must attach wings for our local products. To be seen in the digital market, connecting our local economy to the world is a key to success. Third, Thai politics needs the new generation who is nationalist, not a chauvinist. Khan Chai. We must value our national interest above politics. We need politicians who always think about next generation rather than those who only think about next election. We can think differently but we must respect in each other differences. Like in the old day, Kun Brahmi has stated, you know, in the Thai parliament, when our fathers, our uncles, acted upon their duty, for example, in a central debate, they seemed to be opposed to one another, but when off duty, they were still friends. But sadly, nowadays, it's not the same. We, as the new generation, must create a new culture by respecting the rules and regulations to set good examples and standards for other generations. At the same time, Thailand is in serious need for what we call reform of due process and rule of laws. We all need to stop witch hunting those who think different than us all must be equal under the, before the law. The law must not be executed with double standard. All ties must have equal protection under the same law. Because the laws and resources are here to benefit the citizen and sovereign states, not are here to protect, protect the military regime. As Charles de Montgestier, a French political a philosopher once stated, there is no cooler tyranny than that which is perpetuated under the shield of law and in the name of justice. Thank you. <laughs>